Hey everybody, um, just wanted to make a quick video to give you an update of what we've been working on at the farm. Um, things have continued to be very busy for me and fruitful with the business that I've been doing. Um, we've started our kidding season with the goats, so um, they're all being bred now, but they'll start kidding in March. And um, we've got a couple new pigs and still hatching birds and doing all of the crazy things that I usually do. Um, but now we've taken on cleaning out the barn a bit so that whenever we can get some help on redoing all the outside, um, then all of the inside will be ready to kind of just get set up. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through and just show you what we've done. Um, so these are some extra boards that I saved from when they redid the back side of the barn. And this one in particular, I love. It's a nice wide plank. Um, I got my boot on it there. It's, I think, 12 inches wide, but um, I thought if I ever wanted to build a kitchen table that this is the kind of wood that I would do it with. So I've saved just a little stack of some of these nice wide planks. Um, and the floor here is definitely rotted out, so there are some things like that that need to be repaired. But um, once you get past this point, the rest of the floor is pretty solid. Um, so some of the barn is pretty dark right now. I'm going to do what I can to show you. There's no lights in here, no electricity run to this part of the barn yet. Um, it's just all kind of been on the back burner while I do all the other things I've been doing. So on each side, obviously there's a bunch of stalls and we cleaned this whole side the other day and I got to this fourth stall where there's a bunch of wood on the ground there. Um, a lot of that is just like rotted scraps that we've just been burning. Um, there was a bunch of old twine and some burlap that just had mouse holes all through it and nests and just very gross stuff. Um, we definitely had a lot of care <laughs> trying to sort through things. Like I don't want to just throw everything away, but um, also I don't want to like do permanent damage to my body. So. Um, you know, just finding that happy balance. But, um, yeah, obviously all these boards out here need to be replaced. Um, apparently before, when there was cows on the farm, a cow got stuck in one of these holes, so they had to just literally cut around it to be able to get her out. Um, so that's what one of those holes are from. Um, and there's like tree stumps and stuff that were growing up in here. And probably can't really see it but in front here along both sides there are still like old feed troughs so um, I don't know whether I'll reuse these or not I don't see why I shouldn't but um, I think they would be really nice for like hay and stuff for animals but sometimes the goats can climb over things like this so if I was gonna have goats in here then it might not be a bad idea to board it up um, this was one of the worst stalls here. This, I'm sure, was like their tack area. It has all these pegs sticking out. And what you see hanging is what I pulled out of the dirt and hung back up here for now. Um, it's a lot of stuff for like draft horses for doing work on the farm. And um, there was actually two groundhog holes in this stall. And they just mounted up the dirt in the middle here. So all this stuff that had fallen off through the years was just buried. And I'm sure there's still more in there. But um, it was just getting really dusty as I was trying to like spread it out and stuff. So I kind of stopped for now. But um, this looks a lot better than it did. Um, this whole left side, which I'm not even really going to bother to show you guys because it is just so dark in here. Um, there's lots of groundhog holes, some scrap wood, um, but that is just an area that's going to have to be totally redone. Lots of new dirt brought in, um, but there's not as much trash on that side, so that's good. 
Um, this is the room that I am the proudest of because this took a lot of work in here. Um, the whole floor was just kind of like littered with, um, oh gosh, all these boards with nails sticking out of them and just all kinds of crazy stuff. And Jacob actually stepped down onto the pile while we were working and missed two big old nails by like an inch. So I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to be careful. So we got them all moved out of the way. Um, we stacked them all up on this side. So we have a nice little stockpile of old boards now. Um, and yeah, not, not a whole lot to say. It's just very clean in here now and I'm very thankful. Um, this is an old mill of some sort. I guess it's for grain. Um, but if you guys watched my last video where I did like a barn tour, um, or my last barn video, I mean, then you would have seen all this stuff. It just was a lot messier in here. Um, this is a cool old barrel, but it is empty. Um, and then there's just like some old metal stuff along the wall here, which we will probably eventually take up to the garage where I have like the real hoard. Um, but... There are a couple big like shipping crates and there's a bunch of burlap sacks that were worth saving. Um, so yeah, there's like a co-op um, bag and then there was like some Purina ones. This is just a livestock feed bag. And on the bottom here, I was so happy. There's a bunch of like... Um, I don't know, just like plain canvas kind of bags. And they actually have the old family name on them. Um, so that's pretty cool. They must have like taken them back to the mills to get refilled. Um, but judging by how old they were, they would have been the last owner's dad. So, um, you know, the newer ones, like they have, they were really tore up. And this is a good one compared to some of the other ones. Some just looked like a shred of fabric. So I'm really surprised those older ones are still lasting and still all right. Um, and then there's all of these horse collars. Some were just like thrown on the ground. They were just scattered. And um, if I can kind of get in the light here, you can see where they filled them with straw. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and yeah, just some random pieces. Uh, I'm sure the mice have been like gnawing on these things for years too, but these are all still really cool and I figure if I ever wanted to have like a room devoted to like the old stuff on the farm, um, these would all look really cool hung up some way like that. Um, so I'm guessing that this, maybe they would have had saddles on this board. I have no idea, but it's like perfect to hold these collars. So I just stuck them on there for now. Um, then on this front side, trying to get the camera to focus here. Um, this is where we swept out a bunch of stuff, but a lot of these boards need to be replaced. Like pretty much the whole front of the barn just needs to be kind of resurfaced. Um, and we found like a little random door and just like a pile of metal stuff. This was kind of a cool little tray. Um, this says Snow King baking powder. Jacob thought this was like a little food tray of sorts. Um, he was like, did somebody eat off of this? And I thought maybe it could be like a little feed pan for a little animal or a dog or something. I don't know what they would have used it for, but um, let me know in the comments what you think. But um, those two items were together just like that, so who knows. Um, there's a bunch of bridles with like the eye coverings for the horses and just all kinds of like worn out leather pieces. Um, some of the leather stuff was just kind of falling apart as we picked it up. So, definitely have to be careful with that stuff. Um, the floor in here overall is pretty good. There is a soft spot. You guys can see where it's darker here. Um, I think maybe the roof leaked here and just kind of softened up the floor. But 
I don't feel like I'm going to fall through. It's just like right in here. You can kind of see. That's like a little low spot. But um, nothing really to worry about right now. I don't plan on like tap dancing in here. So <laughs> not too worried. Um, this is the last room we're going to be cleaning out pretty soon. This really has not changed um, since my last video about the barn, but just needs a really good cleaning, and this will be a nice dry storage room for more farm items or whatever I have. Um, I don't know what they would have even used this room for because it's just kind of closed off from the rest of the barn. There's not a real entrance in here unless you go like through the whole alley of the barn. Um, and then it looks like they would have had some kind of like a mini wall with some slats on either side. And that's the same thing for this side too. Um, but I love the whitewash of all the wood. It all just looks very old and patched together and I just love the look of that stuff. Um, so I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this barn. I'm excited to get some more stuff done. Um, obviously it's not going to fall down so it's not been a top priority but it's just been nice to kind of peck away at it and since I'm not working a full-time job right now I've had a little more time to do this stuff. Um, and I hope to make more videos too, but, um, this is like a little pile of like extra flooring and stuff. I think I can see some of it's like tongue and groove. So that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're all staying safe and doing really well. And I can't wait to talk to you all in the comments. Take care.